Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 19. We are at Cerro Largo. This is episode 8 with our third club. There goes Turtle. See ya. Uh, so we've gone through the the long and winding off-season uh, or mid-season uh, transfer window. Uh, so we've made a few moves. Uh, let's see. Uh, Frederico Cabrera, we moved on to Barcelona and Ecuador, 34,000. Uh, not that Barcelona, or it would have been like 34 million or something, but, you know, 34,000. Uh, Hans, our uh, third uh, reserve keeper uh, from Brazil that we signed earlier in the year on a free uh, we sold him for 2.2K, so we made a little bit of money on him. That was nice. Uh, Antonio Gonzalez, we sent out on a free. And Kuki Gonzalez goes out on loan. He's just a youngster. Uh, he just went out. So not a lot happening there, but we did make a little bit of money. Uh, last time, I think you had seen uh, Ballesteros came on. He had made his debut. A little less than impressive, but I still think he's going to be pretty good. Uh, then we brought in three guys on a free. Uh, so we have Rosendo Barney from Union SF. Uh, he is a striker midfielder. Uh, he's got really good physicals. I like those. Dribbling, first touch, uh, passing, just real solid all around. So uh, finishing is a little lacking. I view him a little bit more in a midfield role uh, right there. That's uh, what I'm projecting for him. Israel Herrera, we brought in from Olimpo on a free. Uh, he is a left back. Uh, we do have him uh, transfer listed. I don't know why. Um, oh, I know why. Because he uh, he didn't get registered. I did the auto register thing. And yeah, didn't register him. So we've transfer listed him. Um, yeah, nothing fancy about him. So probably a wasted pickup. Uh, Moro Mollins from Torque, uh, he comes in on a free right winger, uh, just some winger depth. He can play left wing as more of an inside forward on that side. Good pace, acceleration, crossing, so uh, rotational depth out at that wing. Remember, we lost uh, we lost our main striker, so uh, the Winter Soldier is going to probably end up moving up top especially if we continue to play some two striker options up there. Uh, and then uh, the last guy we brought in was Anderson Ramirez from Atletico National on a loan. Uh, he's another striker. Uh, decent pace, dribbling, finishing first touch uh, technique. Uh, he's got a little bit of flair, so I like him a lot. So I think that's going to give us some uh, – he'll be more of the replacement for uh, – what was his name? Uh, Marin, I think was his name. I don't know. Anyway, uh, moving on. So we are, if we take a look here, so we were knocked out in the group stage. They wanted us to be competitive. So we did all right there. We reached the third round in compliance. So they're okay there. Uh, avoid finishing bottom of the league. So let's take a gander at this just real quick. Um, so if we look at stages... So we have the overall, we finished seventh in the opening stage. And then we've got an overall. So, yeah, so this is what we're worried about. So we, we're sitting here, what's that, 17 points up on 15th position. So unless we just completely fall apart, we should be okay. We should be okay. Um Finance wise, uh, we are within it. We we are we have made some money uh, with the sales and everything else. So we are within a million dollars of being out of the hole. Uh, we are still dealing with the uh, the debt here, so we're still making payments on that. Uh, that that's going seven thousand a month, and we have a ten year t window left on that. But again, even paying that, we are making profit. We've made 6500 We're halfway through the month. We haven't had a game. Uh, so hopefully now that we actually have some uh, matches taking place, we will start uh, seeing some, some more revenue. Uh, spending has gone up a little bit with the, uh, the, the four guys that came in that we already had signed that were coming in mid-season. Uh, so, but we're going to drop about a hundred thousand off of that for next year. So hopefully we're, we're okay. I, I'm hoping we're in a, in a decent spot financially. 
But let's get into today's match. We'll see if we're going to have time to play one or two. This didn't take quite as long as the opening transfer window. Uh, let's see. So we are playing Plaza Colonia. Oh, by the way. No, okay. So it's the same. It's the same thing. We, we just have a closing stage where we play everybody. Fair enough. I just, you know, again, first time going through. I uh, just want to see how this is going to work. Uh, now, they have owned us. Uh, we've won two, drawn three, lost five. Uh, we're on the road. We're underdogs. So what I want to do is I have brought back our 4-4-2. Uh, so if we, if we take a look, uh, we've got, uh, we've got the, this 4-5-1. We've got this 4-5-1. This is the one we typically play. And then I, uh, I, when we were doing the the that interim cup, I did that off camera. I brought back this tactic because we were heavy underdogs in a lot of those, and we did okay. We actually managed a lot of shots out of this. So familiarity's there. Uh, we we have built up to accomplished on everything in training. Um, we're fluid here. So, but I want to play this today. So let's go ahead and pop that in. We're gonna have, okay, Ramirez is our new guy. Winter Soldier up top. Ballesteros on the left wing. Mollins, now he is our new right winger, yeah? Yes, we just got him on a free. He's making his debut. And then we have uh, Vieira, Ancheta in the mid. Uh, Vina, Fernandez, Brazil, Martinez, and Ferreira. Uh, Centurion, you know what? Let me check something. Centurion, compare him with Ferreira. All right, Centurion's in the green. So he's actually pretty equal. Communication's a little lower. Shot stopping. One-on-ones. Okay, one-on-ones, Ferreira's a lot better. Passing reflexes. Where is um, positioning? Okay, so a little bit better. He's 24, Ferreira's 22. So Centurion is the guy that we signed, and he's he's our backup. So um, you know, if he doesn't play a lot, I'm okay with that. Uh, once again, not no uh, no friendlies in the uh, in that middle stretch of the season. So we are all. Uh, Fat, lazy, and out of shape coming back into the uh, closing stage of the season. Uh, the players are too. I'm usually like that, but uh, not lazy. I work pretty hard, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Damn, you didn't even give them any greenage. Damn. Damn. All right. We are in the orange kit or the yellow kit. I don't know. Whatever. That's an ugly color. It's like Tennessee Volley Orange, and I don't like that. At least it's not burnt orange like UT. Yuck. All right, first yellow card. Now, I do remember that with this tactic, this 4-4-2. Uh, we do pick up a lot, a lot of yellows. Oh, my God, pick up the ball. Thank you. All right, Mendez, that's on their guy. All right, let's give a get creative shout. No, no, don't hit it right to him. All right, knocked away. That was pretty good defense. They had good movement in there, blocking off the spaces. Good. All right, Ramirez, play it up, play it up. There's a guy there. No, that wasn't what I wanted you to do. The Winter Soldier grabs it and says, look, I'll show you what to do. Oh, there's a nice little one-two. Fernandez knocked away. All right. All right, Ballesteros. And he just lumped it out of bounds. Okay. Um, okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
We've only managed one shot. We're handling possession. If I go here, uh, then I can bring you up there. And then Ballesteros, you can only play up there. Uh, the Winter Soldier can play both sides, so I want him in. And then we'll pull Malins out. So I want a central mid. And that is going to be uh, Johnny Pena. There we go. Bloop. Now Pena. Pena has good passing. Yep. I like that. We'll go that way. Early subbage. Probably should have waited to halftime, but that's all right. Still trying to, you know. And I understand it's going to take the team a little bit of time to get in the swing of things. Uh, let's check one more thing on the tactics. Okay, we're not much higher, so that's fine. We took off the offsides trap, which I wanted to do. All right, excellent efforts. I mean, they have played well. We were underdogs. All right, watch your bookings. Por favor. Arsheta. All right, let's get creative. There's still nothing on the shot front, so I'm a little nervous about that. Ballesteros attacking mid, so we can bring Andrade in for him. And then I'm going to swap those two guys. I just think the Winter Soldier is, is a little bit better on that left side. That's where he had all his success in the early season, right? Oh. Is that a red card? Hello. Dirty boys. All right. So now we want to uh, push forward. All right, we've got a couple of shots. Come on, fellas. Wow, two flick on headers, and they both went to their own team. You just never see that at any level of football manager. <laughs> Play it back, score an own goal. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, Brazil. Oh, my God, he lumps it back to the keeper. <laughs> Hoofed out. All right, Fernandez up to Andrade. Archetta. Oh, there's a – oh, so close. Oh, nice shot. Mm. Come on, boys. Push forward again. We I mean, were already on attacking. There's not a whole lot we can do. All right, there's the lump. Okay. Oh, my God, he got it. The shot. Pushed wide. Andrade. Andrade gets there. Lays it back. All right, I want to make a quick sub. Um, he's doing well. Um, attacking mid. You know what? I'm going to put Kevin Marrera up there. Remember, Kevin is short, but he has pretty good attacking skills. I think he's more suited to that attacking mid. Oh, my God. He actually oh, he heads it. There's two teammates there, and none of them make a move to the ball. That is brutal as hell. That was crap, actually. Um, well, we got a draw. We were underdogs. I'm going to say that's good. Let's build up their confidence. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. And I think we got time for another game. So let's go ahead and uh, the fact that we drew against 10 men, though, not happy about that. 
All right, uh, next match is at uh, River Plate uh, in a few days, so we'll see you back here for that in just a second. All right, we are back. All right, Lietas has returned from an injury, so he's our starting winger, so it'll be good to have him back. Ferreira uh, played last match. He was dinged up in uh, training a little bit, but he's ready. And Teixeira is back as well. So let's take a gander. We're playing River Plate. We are at home. Uh, 50 degrees, breezy. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with our, our standard here. All right, uh, Bammy, let's see what you're doing here. 24-year-old Argentinian. You got the pace passing. I like it. I like it. Uh, he's, yeah, he's an okay finisher. Lietis is back. Winter Soldier back outside. Uh, Ramirez. Virginia Fernandez. All right, let's take a gander at that. I think I'm going to start playing Marrera. Um, Marrera up uh, at that left uh, off the bench a little bit more. Let's take a quick look at him. So, well, his crossing's off, but he doesn't have, you know, he can, well, he can actually defend, but he's so short. First touch. Yeah, his dribbling sucks. Never mind. Not going to do that. <laughs> Never mind. Ugh. All right. Uh, submit the team. Let's go. The only way they're going to get fit is to get out there and run around a little bit. All right, morale boost, nothing. All right, river plates in the red. Ferreira bumps it out. Vina. Winter Soldier, good. Squares it across. Nice drop inside. Lietes. Oh, I think he could have taken a touch out there. Vina and Lietes. Oh, Lietes went in with that low header. So close. Looked good. Looked good. I like I liked the buildup. I like the chance. All right. Let's get a little creative. They're inspired. He's just a natural orator. Oh, nice ball up. Fernandez. Bambi. I know it's Bammy. I just said Bambi. Oh my God, what happened there? Oh, no. The Winter Soldier finds Fernandez again. They're starting to get a good partnership there. Lietis. All right, nice drop out to Vina. Crossed in. Shot. Yes, Johnny Pena. Fifth goal of the season. Boy, he looks pretty good in the midfield. Good job. Four shots, two on target. Only one long. Liking that. Let's give him a spot of praise. Uriah Faber. Close it out. Damn it. Ugh. Or not. Or just let him sit inside the box. Have all day. Shoot the ball. I praised him and he's overwhelmed. Oh my god. He thinks we're good. I don't know how to live up to expectations. Oh, boy. Dressing room. Um, all right, we'll do that. Uh, da -da. All right, let's try to build him up here a little bit. All right, a little greenage there. Good. So I'm recording this on Sunday. This will go up, I believe, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. Um, I usually try to stay a couple of days ahead just with the daily uploads for Football Manager. So yesterday was a rough day um, between European football and American football. Um, 
hopefully today goes a little bit better. Uh, let's bring in uh, Magalena's, what's his ratings? Uh, tackling. He can't really pass out of there. I don't like that. He can be a defensive. What about Brazil? Uh, he's pretty shit. Martinez? Eight. I'm going to move Martinez up there. He can pass a little bit better. Um, anyway, so rough day. Um, my favorite college football team is uh, the University of Michigan. <laughs> a penalty, Winter Soldier. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, he placed it. That's number 17. I thought the keeper had that when he went the right way. Looked good. That was tight. Uh, but anyway, they got blown off the field yesterday by the University of Wisconsin. And I'm watching the uh, Facebook and Twitter and everything else. Um, yeah, just... just uh, all right, we'll bring Marrera in there. Um And, you know, everybody wants the head coach fired and uh, we're worthless and, <laughs> I mean, just everything. Uh, who do I want in there? Mullins? Mullins is 22. Boy, he's got good pace. First touch is a 10. Andrade. Andrade doesn't have the crossing, so, yeah, I think. Let's go there. Boom. Uh, you know, so I'm watching that. You know, the, the loudest people on the internet are always the kind of craziest ones, you know. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they're usually the smallest majority, you know, a very small minority. Oh, an own goal. Hey, got credit. I think that went on off the back of Pereira's head. Shit. That was crap push forward uh, and then kind of the same thing happened with Leeds uh, yesterday you know we dominated the first half uh, only managed one goal missed a penalty kick um, and then you know the guy that got you know got the assist on the goal or directly led to the goal and then set up the penalty didn't take the penalty but forced the penalty um, And then everybody wants him benched and, you know, other people brought in and, and, you know, it's just, you know, you just kind of watch the, the circus and, and, you know, unfortunately when you have it with both of your, you know, two of your big teams that you follow, it's just like, ugh. <laughs> so Barney makes his debut. So anyway, I've been, you know, my entire Facebook and, and uh, Twitter feed has been, you know, fire, fire, Bielsa, fire, Harbaugh, bench this guy, bench, you know, uh, that guy should never play again. He sucks. And it's like, wow, you know, and I just uh, take a deep breath. All right. Well, not too happy with the results today. A couple of draws. I think we should have had both of them, uh, 10 men here. Uh, and then, you know, we gave up, just gave up some goals. So hopefully this is just a matter of starting slow. Uh, after the after the break, trying to get people into uh, into shape, we actually had a good home crowd. Uh, seventy nine hundred and seventy two uh, seventy two people. Uh, that's not bad. Pretty happy with that. So that gets us back into the positive. So this is not going away overnight, but it is at least heading in the right direction, right? So where do we come back? Where do we come back? Um, you know what? Let's come back for, uh, for Phoenix and Liverpool. And then we'll maybe jump ahead to uh, America, Boston, and then finish with Nationale Danubio. And, you know, try to get through the season with a couple more episodes and uh, see where that leaves us. 
All right, guys, well, hit the like button, subscribe if you don't mind. And um, anyway, oh, one of the other things I wanted to ask you guys, and, you know, I don't usually try to get, you know, a lot of attention, but, you know, I, I ask for the likes and the subscriptions just, you know, because that helps get my video out to more people. But I've noticed there are quite a few people or there's a few people doing these um, football manager exposure videos uh, where they're highlighting uh, smaller channels uh, like mine. Uh, one of them I've already mentioned, uh, the Custer Prophet did feature me in episode two of his Meet the Manager series. Uh, but I noticed uh, a couple other guys uh, have, have put some out. Um, now their idea of small is like four to 8,000 subscribers. Um, you know, that's only what, like 10,000 percent more than I have now. Um, so, but uh, it evidently uh, they are, they post on their Twitter feeds and, and ask for suggestions. So if you do like what I do and you do follow any of them, I'm not going to tell you who they are because I, I'm not, I don't want you to go and, and crash their, their site, uh, you know, and, and push me. But if you're already on their site, you know, I just, you know, I, I would appreciate the exposure. Um, you know, I like doing this. I'm going to do it. And, you know, you see I do daily content. So I'm going to do it whether uh, I've got, you know, 400 subscribers or 200 subscribers or 20,000 subscribers. So that doesn't matter to me. I do it because I have fun doing it. But, uh, yeah, it'd be nice to get the exposure. And, uh, you know, but, but they don't, you know, they don't know who I am. And so the only way that they can find out is if you not nominate me, I guess. So, again, if you're on their feed and, and you think I'm worth it, if you don't, don't nominate me. I mean, I'm, that's not going to hurt my feelings. Um, you know, I'm, I'm appreciative that you think enough of me to be on my channel and, and be here. Um, you know, but if you don't think I'm worth exposing out like that, don't do it. And I won't be, you know, you don't even have to tell me. So sh it'll be a secret and I won't ever know. And I wouldn't be offended anyway. I don't, you know, I don't lose my mind over shit like that. But anyway, have a good one. We'll be back for uh, Phoenix and Liverpool uh, next episode. And hopefully we can find some points in the meantime. Have a good one. Bye.